in their room and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm still there, still going. And I remember speaking to my mentor a week later, I think it was, and I'd just gone to Melbourne to coach one of my clients. And I'm like, oh, I just went to Melbourne, and I live in Geelong. I live in, you know, I worked in Melbourne, I'm with a client. And my mentor said to me, you went to Melbourne and you're sick. You were seeing a client and you were sick. And I'm like, yeah, like it was a badge of honour. <laughs> Truly, this was a belief I didn't know that I had. And I said, yeah, I did, yeah. And, I was, and you know that, that ad, soldier on, with coach, yeah. that would be me. with my son for over 35 hours or something without any into any drugs until the last minute. Because <coughs> I was soldiering on with cultural, soldier on, not even with cultural, what's just soldiering on? Right, I'm the <laughs> right? But I had this, it was like a badge of honour. Now the thing is, it was only until my mentor said to me, what are you teaching your client? Do you expect them to go to a client and coach them when you're really sick? Is that your expectation? No. I wouldn't want them to do that. Then what are you showing them? It was only then that all those times in my past of me just soldiering on, not going to the doctor, that I thought, shit, I'm writing a strategy. I didn't know. And that was really 